Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to generate a static website from a Python Flask application using the Python's frozen Flask module. Alright, what is a static website actually? A static website will deliver the content as it is to the client without any server-side rendering. For example, a static website can just serve HTML, JavaScript and CSS files. So this is an example of a static website. I have generated the static website files from a Python Flask application. Let's try to see the contents of the static website files. I'm going to open a terminal here. And here these are the contents of the files you got only html javascript and css and some static assets that's all there is no python here so when you host this in a web server something like is apache nginx etc when the request comes the server will just send the corresponding html and the corresponding javascript and css files that's all there is no server side rendering like aspx jsp jinja etc so that's what a static website is where can the static websites be used Static website can be used for websites where user inputs are not required. For an organization's website, if it's all about just showcasing the organization's details and no user input is required, they can just render HTML files, JavaScript files to just showcase the content and no user input will be taken in the website. In the same way, if you have a resume website or a portfolio website, your application doesn't need to process the user inputs. It needs to just deliver the HTML content, that's all. And why use a static website? Static websites are generally more secure because the attack surface is reduced because you're not taking any user inputs. Static websites don't process user inputs. So that is why static websites are easy to maintain. You just need a standard battle tested server like IIS, Nginx, Apache, etc. And just host these files as static website in that server. And obviously, since you're delivering only HTML web content, you don't need database. So static websites do not require databases. Alright, we've understood what a static website is. Now let's get to the topic of this video, which is converting a Python Flask application into a static website. So there is this module called Frozen Flask using which you can convert a Python Flask application into static website files. So this is a typical file structure of a very simple Flask application. You have this Flask server files, the static assets, the templates, and you have this server.py or run.py which will run to serve the web server as a python flask application now using this frozen flask python module you can convert this python flask application into static files something like this where you have only html css javascript and some static assets that's all no python in the static files that means python need not be installed in the web server where it is deployed all right why use frozen flask you can just create the html files and css files and just host them in a web server right why use a python flask server and convert it to static files what is the benefit of it you know if you use a flask web server you can exploit the advantages of jinja templates where you can do template inheritance and you can substitute content in the parent templates for example this is a template file from the example which we are going to demonstrate this is a simple contact page you can see all the boilerplate html is present in this base.html file and the contact page is just substituting the required parts of the page using these blocks. So in the base.html, there is a block called title. And in that block, this template is substituting a string called contact. And in this base.html, which is the main template, there is a block called body. And this template for the contact page is just substituting this string inside the body block. So now the base.html file, which has the boilerplate HTML, can be reused in all the website pages. And you don't need to manually duplicate the code in all the pages. That saves you a lot of time and you can manage the static pages very easily. That's just a primary benefit. You also have other benefits like URL generators using the URL fur. And you also have blueprints where you can divide your application into sub-applications and you can divide your static content into subfolders and you can exploit all the advantages of Flask for easily maintaining the static content of your website. All right, enough talking. Let's try to install Flask Frozen and try to convert a Python Flask application into static web server files. So you need to first install the Python Frozen Flask module, right? So for that, you need to run this command in your Python environment. You wanna type Python minus M pip install Frozen Flask. So I've installed the Frozen Flask Python module now. Alright, to demonstrate the conversion of a Python Flask application into static website files, I am using a simple Python Flask application here. So this is the Flask server files. Let's try to open this in VS Code. Alright, you can run this server using this run.py 
where you're importing the flask app variable and just running it in localhost port 1500 and let's try to see what's there in this app variable so i'm importing it from the app folder so it's like init.py and here you got this app variable which is a flash server instance and here i'm defining routes for all my pages so this is a very simple typical flash server so at the root url i am serving index.html from the templates so the template is in this templates folder and for the route about i am serving this about.html which is present in my templates and the same way contact and terms url are also being served by the corresponding templates html files so let's try to see this contact.html here this template is extending from the base.html in fact all other pages are also extending from the base.html so all my pages are using base.html as the base template so in base.html i am keeping all my sites boilerplate code like including the styles of bootstrap jquery etc and i also kept a menu for easy navigation so all this code will be duplicated in this child templates so i don't need to write this boilerplate all again in each template so this is a great advantage of using python flask applications for static websites you can easily reuse your code in different template pages and inside the base.html i'm using some static assets like the bootstrap css file bootstrap js file all this is present in the static folder i have this js folder css folder and i'm using these static assets in my base.html template all right let's try to run this simple python flask server so i'm going to run this server and it's running in localhost port 1500 so let's try to visit the url localhost port 1500 and here the python flask application is serving the pages i can go to the about page contact page terms page home page so the website is working and now let's try to convert this flask application into static website files so for that i'm going to create a new python file let's try to name it freeze.py because it's gonna freeze this website into static files so the code is really simple just import the freezer class from the flask frozen module which you have recently installed let's try to import the flask application from the app folder so the app variable is actually the flask application so i'm going to import that in my freeze.py now let's try to create an instance of the freezer class so i got the freezer object and just call freeze method so if i just run this in the folder where the flask static folder is present you got a folder called build and this folder contains all the static assets which you can directly host in a web server as a static website you can see i got index.html and this index.html will contain all the code including base.html and index.html and inside this contact index.html you will find all the html of the base.html and the contact.html also so you don't have jinja templates here all the jinja templates will be rendered into html and you will get the resultant page so this build folder can be hosted in some web server like is apache nginx etc to prove that this works let's try to open this folder in file explorer and let's try to run it with a simple python based web server so i'm going to write python minus m http dot server so it's not basically python server python is just hosting a static files web server here you can even use is nginx etc so now these files are being hosted on port 8000 let's go to localhost port 8000 and now you got the pages you can go to the about page contact page terms page home page no python flask server is running here it's just a web server serving static content now this build folder can be hosted in any web server without python installation you just need to serve static content that's all so that's how simple it is to convert a python flask application into static website files before ending this let's try to see one important point to remember if you want to convert your python flask application into static websites ensure that at the end of the route there is a slash let's see what happens if you don't keep a slash at the end of your route let's try to save this and now let's try to freeze this python flask application all right i got permission denied because there is already a folder called about so let's try to remove this build folder let's try to delete this build folder and now let's try to freeze again and now in the build folder you can see there is a file called about without any extension because in your routes you just mentioned about so frozen flask will create a page called about without any extension now let's try to serve this build folder in a static files web server now let's go to localhost port 8000 now let's go to the about page you got error response file not found because the server doesn't know the mime type or extension of this file this can't be served actually so to solve this you got two options you can just add dot html at the end of each route 
so that the output would be about.html instead of about but this doesn't seem easy so if you just write slash at the end of the route frozen flask will convert this route into a folder and generate the corresponding html content into a file called index.html so let's try to delete this build folder again and now let's try to freeze the python flask application and now since you mentioned about slash a folder for the route is created and the content of the html will be placed in this index.html inside the route folder and now if i go to localhost 8000 about i have got that index.html page this is because if you don't mention the last segment and if you just mention the folder in the url the server by default searches for index.html and if it is present it will be rendered so here in the about folder there is index.html and the index.html is being rendered here that means if i write slash about slash index.html you'll get the same page so in the end all you need to remember is just ensure slash at the end of each route so that you don't get error when you create a static website in flask web application so that's it guys you can see i've created a blog post on generating a static website from a python flask application using frozen flask python module i've given you the notes images and the python code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer i've also given you the link to the official frozen flask documentation I recommend you to read the docs so that you can do further reading and understand the module better. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.